Painted in 1869, St. Barbara, St. Dorothy, and St. Agnes is one of the most beautiful works by Edward Byrne Jones, widely regarded as one of the great British artists. Displaying an unmatched technical virtuosity, Byrne Jones's dreamlike themes of sexual longing and otherworldliness won him international acclaim in the late 19th century. In 1866, Byrne Jones began a love affair with his model Maria Zambaco. But rather than resembling her angular Mediterranean features, the saintly women here are closer to the softer, paler Saxon beauty of his beloved wife Georgiana, who he married in 1860. This picture appears to depict three portraits of Georgiana, long-suffering and stoic, but kind and intelligent, with strong religious beliefs. Saints Barbara, Dorothy and Agnes resemble a trio of Renaissance Madonnas in their blue robes and white veils, their stories linked by their refusal to marry. On the left, Saint Barbara stands beside the tower in which her father locked her up as protection from troublesome suitors. In her solitude, she found faith in Christianity and had three windows put into the walls to symbolize the Holy Trinity. In one hand, she holds a book to signify religious learning, and in the other, a peacock plume perhaps intended as a symbol of resurrection. In the center is Saint Dorothy, who was put to death in the second century for refusing to marry because of her devotion to Christ. She was mocked by a Roman lawyer who asked her to send back a basket of roses from heaven's garden. Burne Jones depicts the winged courier delivering the basket, which proved the existence of heaven and led to the lawyer's conversion to Christianity. The angel also holds upright the sword with which Dorothy was martyred. On the right is Saint Agnes, who refused to marry the son of a Roman official. Her long hair alludes to the myth that when stripped to be executed, her hair miraculously grew to cover her. Agnes means lamb in Latin, and she was usually depicted with a lamb in her arms. Burne Jones visited Italy on several occasions between 1859 and 1873, and the painting seems to fuse his various Renaissance influences. The landscape background is reminiscent of Titian, the drapery Giotto-esque, and the refined elegance of the saints recalls Botticelli, who at the time was an overlooked artist. This is a rare opportunity to acquire a work of great beauty by one of the most remarkable artists of his generation.